Hey, my name is Carson. I am a radio personality in Washington, D.C., and I also cook, and I hang out with a lot of really cool foodie friends. These are my foodie friends. Hey, hey. So, we live on the East Coast. We're going to focus a little bit on seafood tonight and some amazing mussels. So, uh, hang out with us. Not yours. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you enjoy it. All right, so I got my salmon here. I've got a little bit of butter on the outside. I've got my fresh herbs and my lemon on the inside. We're going to put this on a real hardwood charcoal grill. I'm going to let this sit for about 45 minutes or so. And then we're going to add the chipotle cream sauce in a second. So here we go. There we go. All right, so on the side of the salmon that we've roasted on the grill with pecan chips, we're going to do a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of chipotles with adobo, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a little bit of Tabasco right there. So that's your side sauce for the salmon. It adds a little bit of flavor, and it goes really well. But it doesn't overpower the flavor of the salmon. All right, so we're going to do as an appetizer some mussels. Now, mussels are fantastic because they're very inexpensive, and they're really, really flavorful. The recipe we're using is, we call it Scotty's Mussels, because uh, Scott Squire is a friend of ours. He's a chef. And he came up with this. It's very simple. We've debearded these mussels. I'm going to make sure that they are still living. So when you uh, tap on the mussel, if it closes... You're cool. If it doesn't, it's dead. It needs to go bye-bye. Quiet burial in the backyard, whatever. Anyway, we're going to take these outside. We're going to throw them on a Cajun burner, and we're going to set fire to them. And it's very simple. It's just fire and salt and olive oil and mussels, and you're going to love it. Let's do it. All right, so that noise you're hearing in the background is a Cajun burner. I don't know why they call it a Cajun burner. I think Cajuns like to burn stuff. Anyway, it's a very hot flame. We have a cast iron skillet. We're going to take these still living mussels and we're going to put them on the fire. Here we go. It's nice and hot. Now they're going to open up. Don't want to cook it too long, guys. It's only going to take about 45 seconds. And my buddy Mike is going to throw some olive oil on here and set them on fire. Then I'm going to put them out. We use olive oil because it has a low flash point and it catches on fire. So we're going to put it out with salt. Sea salt, not iodized salt. Iodized salt is for your sidewalk. Hear them popping? They're popping. Boom, boom, boom. When they all start to open up, ready to add the olive oil. Ready. You ready, Mikey? Ready. Let's go! Set them on fire! Yeah, baby! I love this! Boom! There's your salt. Take them off. So we've got some nice smoky mussels. They're Scotty mussels. What we're going to do is we're going to dip them in a little bit of steeped butter, or not. That's fine. We're going to serve with some fresh bread. So come on, let's dig in, guys. All right. My son, the pickiest boy in the history of mankind, is going to try a mussel. Let's try it. Here you go. Just try it. Put it in. All the way in. Eat chug You can't chug look at it. Just chew. Just chew it fast. This could be fast. ugly. He likes it. He likes it. <laughs> going to boil some sweet corn. These are Maryland sweet corn. It's beautiful. We're going to boil it on the stove, and then we're going to finish it on the grill. We're going to serve it with an herbed butter. Here's what we got. Got a little cage going with some uh, asparagus. Mm -hmm. We got some nice uh, uh, eggplant and onion. We've had these marinating a little bit of olive oil and also balsamic. Got some nice uh, peppers going here. These are not, these are large hot peppers. They are not a uh, chipotle or habanero. Um, we got those going and a zucchini as well. Here we are with the finished fish. It's very light. It's very flaky. It's wonderful. I'm going to serve it with this uh, wonderful chipotle sour cream mixture, which is always nice. You could probably also do this with like a, uh, a salsa, like maybe a mango salsa or a cantaloupe salsa. I'm going to do it with this cream sauce, and we're going to serve it with the other sides with the grilled vegetables. It's going to be awesome. We've got uh, your, your uh, grilled sweet corn. We've got some wonderful vegetables with a hint of balsamic vinegar. We've got some wonderful mushrooms here, uh, baby bellas, and, of course, your fish. It's a great, well-balanced meal, and we'll finish things off with a wonderful pear dessert. I'm going to use the grill as well. Coming up. All right, so we've had salmon. We've had mussels. We've had grilled vegetables. Let's do dessert. Okay. So what I have here is just some pears, and what I've done is I have uh, rolled these in a little bit of butter, 
and a little bit of cinnamon. Over here, I made this reduction. This is a Muscat, very sweet red wine. And I reduced and reduced and reduced. And I added raspberries. And then I also added a little bit of sugar. We're going to grill these pears. We're going to serve this Muscat reduction with raspberries and vanilla bean ice cream. It's going to rock. Come on! All right, so we got the grilled pears. Awesome. Got the vanilla bean ice cream, which, you know, seriously, guys, if you're Martha Stewart, you might be able to find the time to make your own ice cream. But seriously, buy a good ice cream, okay? <laughs> I'm going to finish it with this beautiful Muscat raspberry reduction. And there you go, guys. That is a beautiful grilled dessert. You are going to love that. All right, so we hope you enjoyed our very easy muscle recipe. Awesome, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Right, so Let's not forget the grilled vegetables, the salmon with the chipotle. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And the pears. Bobby, consider us for your nationally syndicated television show. We would love to be on the Food Network. Thanks for watching. Yeah. He's the man. Yeah.